what is this one here oh yeah this is <laughs> oh this is flipping insane so i guess you know we're all wearing masks now we will have to wear some sort of face covering in this new normal that we're currently living in and um i guess uh as per as as we, as we should expect some startups some technology companies out there are deciding to fill a niche right by providing alternatives to the surgical masks that we're wearing or banaclavas or whatever else that you're putting at the moment and they're trying to make these weird contraptions that are somehow going to allow us to live as best a life as we can whilst we're living in this quote-unquote new normal and one of these examples that i saw on my uh feed was this crazy space helmet that's kind of reminiscent of something you'd see a spacex astronaut wearing and it's flipping insane all batshit crazy but maybe there's some sort of element of realism to it so this is the headline here it says forget face shields this helmet purifies air you breathe and exhale so not only is it providing you a a COVID space, uh, a COVID safe space, it's also providing you the best COVID safe space that money can buy by purifying the air that you breathe and excel. So it continues this article. It says we've known end of the coronavirus pandemic in in sight, and we're all thinking a bit more about our health and how to keep it. While masks are vital accessory when in public, Microclimate's new helmet takes the idea to a face covering to a whole new level. Appropriately dubbed Air, the insulting, um, insulating, sorry, model completely encapsulates the head and neck with a clear acrylic visor to provide an ob obstructed view. But more than providing coverage, the unit also has a HEPA air filters to purify both the incoming and outgoing hair, originally developed during World War II to remove radioactive particles from the air. The HEPA filters remain the gold standard of air filtration and are capable of capturing the COVID-19 virus when airborne. The assuredness with no doubt um, make every play, every plane ride and Uber trip that much more comfortable. But look at how bizarre that looks. But I could imagine... Because, of course, the video or the picture that we're seeing now on screens of two sort of business executive looking guys who I imagine are the founders of this company. Right. They're probably just trying to do a proof of concept sort of you know thing. But I can definitely envision, 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 envision. Yeah, envision. That's the word. Um, really, you know, some of our most well-known performers, I can definitely see like a Beyonce or somebody of that ilk deciding to perform somewhere and put that helmet on to make it make sense you can definitely see lady gaga maybe performing on a show somewhere wearing this mask in order to put on a covid secure safe a covid secure show and entertain crowds of people who also want to go and attend i can definitely see this being a thing um for a certain segment of society but will this be you know accepted or kind of um trickled down to regular civilians like you and i probably not i don't want to be wearing this doofusy head helmet everywhere i go it doesn't look comfortable it looks absolutely utterly absurd and to be quite honest i'm enjoying you know having half of my face covered up i'm enjoying the fact that you know people aren't necessarily get a read on my face and aren't necessarily staring into my dome and i don't know about you but especially during covid everyone's sort of keeping their distance everyone's avoiding small chat it feels like the best of times you know it kind of reminds me of that um what's that sketch on the what's that sketch on that show what's his face where he's like oh i hate stopping chats right that's reminding me of that sort of thing there are no more stopper chats in the age of covid or if they are you're stopping and chatting from a distance and you know spudding or elbowing each other so that always creates a bit of a barrier there's no time to create rapport or to have some sort of warmth in the conversation because half your face is obscure so the last thing i want is to somehow open it up again as you can see, I haven't necessarily been keeping, you know, my face in any kind of tip top condition. So this is definitely something that I'm not definitely down for. But again, I can definitely see high flying executives who actually need to meet face to face or really high earning, um, you know, artists who kind of want to get one last payday in before things get back to normal deciding to put on this helmet in a covid secure um venue or concert somewhere and then entertaining crowds of people you know from a stage it's proper cyberpunky but it definitely makes some sense in that regard it continues said when fully charged via a streamlined usb port and air can operate for over five hours not not the best um runtime i uh, to be honest i um, enough to get you through a mid-range flight though it can recharge on the go it does take a full eight hours to top up completely Oof. 
Like that's not it's not a lot, is it? The built-in HEPA filters can last four to six weeks when used regularly, and the brand is currently developing easy replacement for the future owners. Sound inside the helmet is somewhat muffled, and the brand claims is working on this issue. Yeah, how are they gonna do that? And the speech remains audible for those inside and outside the helmet, so you can't necessarily hear that well. But your go is. Uh, but I can, you know, I'm sure they could have fit in some monitors in there and get that sort of wing working. But it's such a bizarre thing, and it, it, who would imagined? Um, Christmas of last year that we'd be seeing companies racing right um you know trying to develop um helmets and face shields and whatever it may be face coverings um quick as quick as they can right because essentially this is the beauty of you know the modern area that we live in you could essentially you know sketch this up mock this up on a um cad so on a bit of cad software pretty quickly probably get a, a prototype done fairly fast as well especially somewhere locally considering most of their jobs and contacts were eviscerated due to covid and get something out to market in a very fast manner right you could even get it you can even get some crowdfunding done prior to actually releasing the physical item via stuff like kickstarter and all that malarkey but who would imagine in christmas of 2019 that we'd be seeing ourselves you know watching videos of two guys wearing a helmet that looks like something out of i don't know you know some uh, christopher nolan movie right and trying to make it look as normal as possible like it's just, just utterly bizarre um, and then we kind of see a video here, or no, it's a clip, not a video, a clip of actually a picture of these two guys wearing the said helmet mock-ups on a bench somewhere, making it seem as normal as they can. And it's really, really, really odd. Again, I don't necessarily see myself wearing something like this. It looks too dystopian for me. I'd much rather just stay at home and wait for things to get normal, right? This is not enough for me to go back to a rave. If someone told me, hey, we're going to put raves back on, but you have to wear this helmet to play or to go, I'm not going. It's just, just too much. It's bad enough as it is going to a rave with a flipping face mask on, right? And then going to the toilets and getting up to whatever you're getting up to and then putting it back on again. It's a bit odd. But imagine going to the toilet and having a full helmet on. You have to kind of take it off and it's just so odd it's so so bizarre but hey um if it helps some people then say la vie but let me know your comments down below would you wear such a helmet would this be um an option for you to get back um to a semblance of normality or would you much rather like myself wait until things get back to normal as they were prior to covid let me know in the comments down below